Hey, what's up? Mirai here, and welcome to the World of Warcraft basic gameplay video. I'm going to be covering a handful of different things in this video, and it assumes that you've successfully created a character set by using the quick setup wizard, and you've exported your settings to inner space. If you haven't done that already, then check out the video that covers the quick setup wizard for World of Warcraft. I'll also recommend that it may be helpful to have a look at the World of Warcraft Quick Start Guide in the Iceboxer Wiki so that you can familiarize yourself with the material that I'm going to be covering. Alright, so when you're ready to launch your team, you've got a few different ways that you can accomplish this. If you already have Iceboxer open, then you can right-click on the character set that you'd like to launch and click Launch. This will automatically start up Interspace for you if it isn't already running and then proceed to launch your team. You can also create a desktop shortcut to launch specific character sets as well, or alternatively, you can start up Interspace yourself, right-click on the system tray icon, and launch your team using this method. During the launch process, your game clients will be launched one at a time and placed in the respective positions within the window layout that you had previously assigned. If your game clients are crashing or hanging instead of launching as they should, then you'll need to check out the Diagnostics page in the Iceboxer Wiki and follow the instructions listed there for further assistance. Now, depending on how you've got your Battle.net accounts set up, you may need to manually enter the correct email address on certain clients during the initial launch. But if you check the Remember Account Name box, then Iceboxer will remember your account and sub-account information for each character every time. As I previously mentioned in the Quick Setup Wizard video, you'll need to log into your accounts in the same order as the characters in your character set. And when entering your password, it's helpful to disable your key maps to ensure that they're not going to interfere. Anytime after that, feel free to re-enable them. When you've made it to the character selection screen, you'll want to double check that the Iceboxer add-on is enabled. It should be by default, but if the add-on is not enabled, then some of Iceboxer's built-in functionality will not work correctly. At this point, you'll want to re-enable your key maps if you haven't done so already, and confirm that Repeater is disabled. I cannot stress this enough that Repeater should be disabled for normal gameplay. Okay, so you've made it into the game world. Now what? Well, you first want to invite your team into a party by using the Iceboxer shortcut Shift-Alt-I. And after that, Alt-F will make the rest of your team follow your main character. From there, you're able to just start killing things. You can see here in the video that my mages are assisting my main character in casting their spells through the use of the in-game action bars. No macros required. That's because by default, Iceboxer sets up 1 through equals on your keyboard's number row to work across all of your characters with an included auto assist. You can expand this default list to be anything you want by using Iceboxer's mapped key wizard, and you can check out the details for that in the World of Warcraft Quick Start Guide on the Iceboxer wiki. I'd also like to point out that the built-in auto assist works from any window, which makes swapping between characters much less of a headache and gives you, the player, more flexibility. Now, for new multiboxers, I recommend starting off with a team of casters or ranged because they're the easiest to set up and get used to so that you can learn this new form of gameplay. But if those classes aren't your thing, you can also do melee. Melee classes are a little more difficult to multibox because they sometimes require special positioning and every time that they attack, they'll break follow, so you're constantly having to press the follow hotkey again and again. However, the interact with target function, which is built directly into the game client, allows multiboxers to play melee classes with great ease. You can see here that my entire team is running up to the target on its own and attacking it. This is neither automation nor cheating, as this functionality is provided to all players by Blizzard. It's been available in the client for a few years now, and has immensely helped multiboxers who use melee characters in their teams. Interact with Target is also useful for interacting with NPCs throughout the game world. With the Interact with Target function, multiboxers are able to target the NPC that they'd like to talk to, press an assist key so that the entire team selects the same target, and then press their interact with target hotkey. 
this will open up the NPC dialogue pane on all of your characters without any hassle. From there, you'll most likely want to enable Repeater to help you with simple tasks such as accepting quests, buying or selling items, or anything else that requires navigating through these windows. To find out more about Interact with Target, check out the Quick Start Guide for World of Warcraft on the Boxer Wiki for a separate video on how to set it up and what side effects you can expect when using it. Alright, so a quick recap of what's been covered. Multiple ways to go about launching your character set. The process of logging into your accounts. Double checking that the Iceboxer add-on is enabled. How to invite your team into a party once you're in game. Using the follow function to get where you want to go. Knowing that the number row on your keyboard is broadcast to all clients with an added auto assist which works from any character. And touching on interact with target and its uses. In closing, my words of wisdom to all new multiboxers is now that I've shown you the basic tools needed, you'll want to start practicing them in game. Because regardless of how good someone might be while playing a character solo, it doesn't mean that they'll be able to instantly master the art of multiboxing. While playing multiple characters at the same time may increase your firepower, it also decreases your effectiveness to adapt to certain, especially hectic, situations. And depending on your patience and your skill level, multiboxing may take quite some time to get used to. Ultimately, it depends on what your goals are while multiboxing and how much time you're willing to put in to achieve those goals. And that concludes the World of Warcraft basic gameplay video. If you're having any issues setting up anything that I've shown here in this video or want a few tips, feel free to watch the basic troubleshooting video for World of Warcraft. For any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the ISBoxer forum or the live chat.